Hey, welcome to another show, Emerald and Friends. I'm Emerald Lagasse, chef and owner of Emerald's and Nola Restaurants in New Orleans. And you know, food is my life. I love to cook. I love to eat. I love wine. And I've had the pleasure to be able to travel around the world and taste some of the best recipes, but meet some of the most interesting people who've created them. In this show, it's about my friends. Some are restaurant owners, some award-winning chefs, and some that have written exceptional cookbooks. So let's get started because today we're going to feature a corn and black bean and red pepper salad. That's right, for my friends Melanie Barnard and Brooke Dujnay's Potties. That's right, a book on potties. And first, from my great friend in Cincinnati, a red bell pepper fettuccine with lobster from Orchid's Restaurant, that's right, and my great friend, Mr. Richard Perry. That's right, Richard Perry. You know, Orchid's Restaurant is located in the Omni Netherland Plaza in Cincinnati, Ohio. And Richard Perry did not train for the restaurant business. Look at that, there's the picture of the interior of Orchid's, a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. He didn't train, there's my good friend, Mr. Richard Perry, a true gentleman and a great chef. And uh, he didn't train under the apprenticeship program typical of this industry. But he is nev nevertheless a gifted cook, a talented, talented chef, a good friend. Uh, his extensive travels allowed him to sample many different regional and national cuisines. And he absorbed some of their influences. And he has carried his penchant for American cuisine with him. He is a big believer of the land. It's a blend of homespun and familiar tastes with complex and sophisticated ingredients and techniques. And uh, just a delightful, delightful guy. Uh, we've been a friend a long time and uh, a great inspiration to the Midwest and its cuisine. And here's the ingredients you need for Mr. Perry's red bell pepper with fettuccine and lobster. You need mint shallots and white wine, lemon juice, white pepper, fish stock, and heavy cream, and red bell pepper fettuccine, lobster meat, and green onions. Very simple ingredients. Hey, don't get nervous on me, folks. If you didn't have a chance to write those down, you know at the end of the show, I'm going to tell you how to get the recipes. Now, I have a tip for you about shallots. And I don't mean green onions or scallions. Shallots, the classic. This is a shallot here, and when you a buying shallots, you want to make sure that the, they're firm. They're in the onion family. And you sort of treat them like an onion as well by peeling off the ends and then the skin. You can see that this is used for a lot of cooking, particularly classical cooking like French cooking and European cooking, the shallot. But treat it just like an onion, as I said, because if you cut it in half, and then if you can just cut it, as I've said many times about a regular onion, then you have the diced onion just like that. I'm going to show you again. We we'll cut those, and then we want to cut them in and then cut down. And, uh, you know, I believe that shallots, you shouldn't grind them and dice them all up in a food processor. You want to do them by hand so that way you get the flavor of the shallot and not the watery and... It, uh, it's much better to do them by hand. You get much more flavor from the shallot. And speaking about flavors, you know, you go through the grocery store today, and they've got just about every flavor of pasta imaginable. Also, shapes and sizes. And one of the dishes from my friend Richard Perry that we're going to be doing a red bell pepper pasta. This is a fettuccine that has its green. It's been flavored with spinach. And here is an angel hair that's been flavored with some tomato. Now, how do they do this? How do they flavor these pastas? Well, the pasta is made into a simple pasta dough. And then what happens is the extraction of either spinach or tomato or cayenne pepper or squid ink noodles, those black noodles that I'll show you in a second, that's kind of reduced down into a concentrate, and then that's folded inside of the pasta dough, a regular egg pasta dough, and gives it that great flavor. As a matter of fact, 
Recently, I even discovered some chocolate pasta. That's right, some chocolate pasta. Here's the squid ink noodles, which the squid ink of calamari or from squid, they use that as a very popular one. And then there's a tomato and basil. You can see the specks on this particular pasta and beet pastas and vegetarian and fresh herbs and all sorts, saffron pasta. But it's that extract, extraction that's worked into the dough. Okay, red bell pepper fettuccine with lobster from my good friend Richard Perry at his restaurant Orchids. What Richard does is a lot, a lot of shallots. Look at how many shallots there. And he does this extraction of shallots. Lots of white wine. And he uses some stock or clam juice or lobster stock or perhaps what you can use as a neutral stock if you can't do that even a good shrimp stock will do and he reduces this on the stove slowly he brings this to a boil and then he brings this simmering uh, roughly for maybe about uh, 20 to 30 minutes on a slow simmer what that's doing is evaporating that moisture and concentrating those flavors and then what you have is this reduction here it looks like this he cooks it more than halfway and it tastes mmm absolutely delicious extracting all the flavor from the shallots and now what Richard does is he adds a little bit of white pepper and some lemon juice to that mixture he stirs stirs that up and reduces that and he says you can use this base for a lot of wonderful sauces for fish and for shellfish by just taking it and beginning to work with this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take some green onions or some scallions. We're going to saute them in just a tiny bit of olive oil. And then we're going to add some heavy cream, a tiny bit of heavy cream. And then some pieces of diced lobster meat we're going to add. And then we don't want this to boil. We just want this to lightly simmer. I'm going to show you. There's not a lot of, lot of sauce in there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our red pepper fettuccine and in some lightly salted water, we're going to begin to start cooking that. And that's going to cook just roughly about two to three minutes, depending on the doneness that you like. I prefer to the tooth. That's right, or al dente. Now, what Richard wants to do is take a little bit of this wine and shallot extraction, add a little bit of that to that mixture. You can see what we have right here, and stir that in. Now you see it's not as thick, and it has mm, this wonderful, delicious flavor. And once the pasta has been cooked, as you can see here, we're going to add some of that red pepper fettuccine, black bean and corn. And this is cilantro, one of my favorite, favorite herbs. And I want to take some cilantro and chop that just like, as soon as you cut the cilantro, it immediately lets off this delicious flavor. And we're going to add that, and then we're going to toss those garnishes in with our delicious salad, as you can see. And then what we're going to do is we're going to simply just add some of our salad. You could use this even as a relish, perhaps, with some grilled fish or grilled chicken. It doesn't have to be just served uh, by itself. And then you can see that we have a wonderful salad. And I'm going to take the end of this green onion, and uh, we'll make a little flour like such and add that and uh, you have a wonderful, wonderful corn, black bean, and red pepper salad used for a lot of things as a salad, as an accoutrement for perhaps some fish or chicken. And uh, don't worry if you didn't write down all those ingredients because I'm going to tell you how to get the recipe. And when I come back, I've got a great tip for you, so stay with me.
Hey, Emeril Lagasse, welcome back to the show, and I hope that you've gotten something out of our bell peppers today. That's right, a couple of great recipes using them. Let me give you a couple of great tips right now. If you are baking cookies uh, and you only have one pie pan, well, try lining the pan with some parchment paper, and when they come out of the oven, you can just sort of slip them right off, add another parchment paper, and that's a little tip if you only have just one pan. Also, when you get a recipe that you need to line with wax paper, cut it about two inches long, and by cutting in the corners, it can easily just unfold and line your pan. If you want the recipes for today's show, here's how you get them. Write to Emerlin Friends, care of TVFN, P.O. Box 4836, New York, New York, 10185. Please send a self-addressed stamped envelope, and make sure you mark show number 1100 so that you get the right recipes. And those recipes are that delicious corn and black bean red pepper salad from Melanie Barnard and Brooke Dogenay's parties. And my great friend, Mr. Richard Perry, his red bell pepper fettuccine with lobster. Make sure that you and your friends join me and my friends tomorrow on Emerald and Friends. See ya. Guests and staff of the show stay at the Clubhouse Inn, Nashville, just minutes from Opryland. Complimentary breakfast and evening receptions make you feel at home. Call 1-800-CLUB-IN. Emerald and Friends is a Reedland production.